How's it going, everybody? Um, this is Phil Dwyer from the National Party. This is Patrick Quinlan from the National Party, party Dublin West. And uh, we've decided to uh, come in here and pay a visit today to the Green Party headquarters and um, hoping we might get to uh, possibly bump into uh, Mr. Roderick O'Gorman, uh, the new Minister for our Children. God help us. We're going to do um, a little uh, ring of the old doorbell and call these people and see what they answer us and we're going to ask for a comment from the Green Party about um, the new Minister uh, for Children, Roderick um, O'Gorman. See, um, has he got a comment to make about his association with uh, Peter Thatcher? Okay. Are you aware of who he had, who he has associates with? It's, it's all, all over social media. And RTE aren't, aren't um, they're not reporting on it. It's on social media. It doesn't even well, it's there's, his a picture, there's a picture no, of him. There's a picture of him on his different. Twitter account with this associate. The name's very interesting. I'm sure you looked at his Twitter account to actually be able to go it, off. It's not somebody in their basement. It's his account. It. So my name is Philip Dory, by the way, from the National oh, Park. It's on his own account, but it's going to be exposed. It's going to be a big story, and we're going to expose it. So it'll be good, maybe a good story for you to expose if you weren't afraid of the establishment. Probably like it'd be all right if the national broadcaster actually done its job, you know what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to just spinning some narrative. He is the Minister for Children, and he's associated with people who are sympathetic to Peter Feeney. Peter Feeney or Yes. some kind of a warped justification around paedophilia uh, 9 to 13 year old kids that are having uh, that have had sex with adults he's trying to claim that this was normal this was joyous for the ch for the kids these people who are now grown ups so we want to know why he's associating what's his association with these people and the RTE should be reporting on it so as you can see the building uh, is uh, swayed with these flags uh, of the LGBT community. Uh, Strangely enough, that doesn't seem to be a Troy colour outside the opposite town, Philip. Yeah, well, as I said, this is nothing to do with the Irish people. These flags are, uh, represent globalism, they represent pro abortion, they represent mass migration, they represent basically the destruction of Irish society as we know it. And uh, we're not happy about this um, in the National Party. We're not, I'm not happy about this as an Irish citizen. And uh, we are disgusted about the appointment of this man as Minister for Children. Um, first of all, his qualifications that he doesn't have any children of his own. Um, he's never reared children. He's never brought children into the world. And how does he get a qualification to be over uh, the children of this country and making crucial decisions about their education and about their care?